Thank you, Mr. President. The committee substitute for Senate Bill 634 um, amends the code with a whole new article, uh, and it's embedded, would be embedded in Chapter 17B, Article 7. This was introduced as a governor's bill, introduced by request of the executive, and introduced as the West Virginia Second Chance Driver's License Act to address the problem wherein people um, have a, their license in suspended status because of their failure to pay court costs, other uh, expenses, um, and we had legislation with this last year. Uh, the, uh, the bill allows uh, the Division of Motor Vehicles to set up a program uh, that would, would stay the suspension or revocation of license while a driver uh, goes on to a payment plan with the DMV. Uh, to pay up these old court costs that are causing uh, his or her license to be suspended. Um, the parameters of that are that uh, calls for minimum payments of $50 each month, a maximum timetable of one year. There's no amnesty in this, Mr. President. In other words, it doesn't relieve anybody of his obligation to pay the court costs or fines that he owes. Um, the bill directs the... Uh, the Division of Justice Community Services to handle any uh, administrative costs for overseeing the program. And uh, it's it basically the idea is same as the Second Chance Employment Act, Mr. S Mr. President, we're looking for ways to get people uh, who can uh, able to return to work in this state. Now the Committee on the Judiciary made one other important amendment, and I'd ask the members to listen carefully because of the work over a long period of time of one man, one member of this Senate on this issue, the Committee on the Judiciary changed the bill, changed the name of the act, Mr. President, so that uh, it gives me great pleasure today to urge the body to adopt the William R. Laird IV West Virginia Second Chance Driver's License Act. I'd be happy to answer questions. Questions on passage of the bill is there discussion? Senator from Fayette. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. After that, I, I think I need to say something. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I rise today in strong support of Senate Bill 634. This governor's bill is intended to address a serious problem related to the suspension and revocation of driver's licenses due to unpaid court costs. In the most recent year in which such data was available, I find it remarkable that the state of West Virginia annually revokes and suspends over 89,000 driver's licenses within our state. Even more remarkable is that over 60,000 of these suspensions and revocation actions were due to the inability to pay the court costs associated with traffic citations and other court actions. The provisions of this bill, as has been explained, will create a common sense program whereby persons will be able to regain their privilege to drive and operate a motor vehicle in our state through a responsible installment payment process administered by the Division of uh, Justice and Community Services. As we well know, West Virginia continues to struggle with the lowest workforce participation rate in the nation. Given the rural nature of our state, a valid West Virginia driver's license is a necessary and essential prerequisite to workforce participation. For many years, I've heard people say, I can't work because I can't drive. At the same time, I've heard people say, I can't drive because I can't work. The passage of this legislation will, in my judgment, have a very real and substantial impact on our workforce participation rates in the state of West Virginia. Mr. President, this is a jobs bill. I encourage the passage of this important legislation. Is there further discussion? Senator from Greenbrier. 
Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> I have to speak for this bill because I've heard that speech for six years from him since I've been in the body. So I, I think he firmly believes what he's saying, and I agree with him. And I think it's an honor to, <clears throat> to stand today to support this governor's bill, uh, the William R. R. Laird IV Second Chance Drivers uh, Chance. Thank you. Further discussion? If not, question for the Senate. Shall the bill pass? All those in favor will vote yea. Those opposed will vote nay. The clerk prepared the machine. <laughs> As every member voted, if so, the clerk closed the machine to ascertain the results. On this question, 34 yeas, 0 nays, 0 absent not voting, more than a majority of those present and voting having voted the affirmative, I declare the bill passed.